I feel like we try and do cool stuff on our days off or even when we just get to the venue, like yeah, yeah. If you can think of like yeah. some of your most maxed out tour yeah, days, honestly, are. yeah, paintballing. Yeah. It was our Harley's old good. our old merch guy Harley. Um, it was his birthday on a day off, so we thought, what can we do? And he was like, I want to go paintballing, and then I want to get sushi, and then I want to go to a, to the movies. And we were like, okay, make that happen. <laughs> and we were in the middle somewhere in Michigan, like really Niffling. far out there. And uh, we found a place, and we were on the tour with the story so far at the time and we were like do you guys want to go paintballing for Harley's birthday and they were like sure and we went and we ended up literally having the best day dude. yeah it was sick um, it was so much fun we beat them really we beat yeah. every single game yeah every single game <laughs> we won the like, Brits man the, the Brits, Brits. Yeah. Was we sweet. brought the pain it was sick and they were like they were like, talking all this they were like yeah stuff. like oh I see that gun yeah my brother uses that one and I was like I don't even know what that <laughs> yeah. is so I was like they're gonna destroy us yeah. like first game I was like so scared and then they, we were like <laughs> right, go on the back, go on the back, you go forward. And, like, our communication was great, so oh, yeah. actually we won those. I think that's like, the key to painful communication. Yeah, yeah communication. Yeah. I feel like there's really humorous, like, gun control jokes in there. Like, you guys <laughs> just understanding, guy? like, yeah, the no, way it, it's viewed yeah. completely differently. It was funny as well that the guy was, he obviously has to take it super serious because like, people take their masks off, they yeah, can get yeah, hurt, yeah. all this kind of stuff. But right. one thing that we always joke about is how that he was like, uh, and guys, don't shoot the animal, don't shoot the wildlife. Yeah. He goes, <laughs> oh my he goes God. look up there. What's that? And I was like, it's like a nest. He was like, yeah, American pride. That's an eagle of some sort. No, oh, he phrased it wrong. <laughs> what did he say? He goes, don't shoot the animals. You see that up there? It's a nest. American pride. Some sort of eagle. I was like, what? It's either a bald eagle or it's not. <laughs> he was like so Some hyped sort of like, bird. <laughs> he was like so patriotic about it. But it was, he was super cool. It was really yeah, he funny. Was nice. oh, and they had like great. a bunch of awesome maps. They had like a little... Uh, like wooden cabins surrounded by like busted up cars and stuff. Yeah, it was yeah, it was yeah. definitely one of the best painful places cool. I've been to in my life. Cool, so it was like woods ball, but but yeah. in a contained area. Yeah, like, yeah you didn't yeah, have those awesome. big blown up. No, uh, no, nothing like yeah, that. Yeah, like the inflatables. I'm trying to think of other. We uh, we went snowboarding in Austria when our van, our trailer actually blew a tire. We were stuck in the mountains. Eventually, someone towed us to this BMW lot, and. Uh, We'd finished, we went hiking that day up into the mountains. It was amazing while our uh, TM tried to find us a trailer. And uh, on the night that we were like getting food, I looked up into the mountains and there was like perfectly lit like ski run. And I was like, are you kidding me? Like we spent the whole day here. I didn't realize you could ski or snowboard. Oh, right. So I looked at our tour manager. I was like, are we going to have time tomorrow maybe to go? Oh, wait for this to go. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so I was like, do you think we have time? He's like, if we woke up early, we might have a few hours. So. We woke up at like seven in the morning, went to the top of this mountain. We're just like snowboarding in Austria on like just for like what, six hours. And yeah. we're just like up and down, and up and down. Day like, off. So it was so weird to be June. at the top of this mountain. Like like we're on in tour jeans. right now. We're in, in jeans, yeah. in, like, <laughs> no, not, no gear. gear. We just went straight up and we had so much fun. And we actually went back. We had to deliver this uh, trailer that we borrowed from a goat farm. That's like how we could make the next show. We had to borrow what? a trailer. Yeah. Yeah, our our yeah. TM had like been driving around the town asking people, can I borrow your trailer? And uh, most of them didn't speak English or really understand what he was saying. But one woman on good faith said, yeah, you can just borrow my trailer and just bring it back to me. And he was like, okay. So like we borrowed this trailer, we made our show to Italy, came back, gave her back her trailer and paid us some money. And we went actually went snowboarding again. Yeah. So it was like a really awesome two days that wasn't, wasn't planned. And we were on top of a mountain, like snowboarding, like this is stupid. Like Dude. we're on tour and we're snowboarding. Like this is pretty yeah. cool. They like, uh, we, they were like, we're going to drink Steiner's of beer. Like, yeah. so we, like we went <laughs> we to this like it. pub and they like, were drinking like yeah. Steiner's of beer. It was just like a mini holiday in between our tour. So, yeah. so yeah. it's like really cool when we get to do that, or especially if there's somewhere like a famous skate park, if we right. have the time, I would, I always try and go there. Right. That and thrifting. That, they're the two things I always like search, like skate park and then like thrift stores. Like thrift whenever stores we, and then try and go somewhere fun. But yeah. Ronan, like this transitions into coffee, I'm sure him and Andrew always are trying to find Yeah, always looking up the, the local spots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm all, yeah. It's that and uh, like craft beer and stuff, the two things I look for. Cool, Flip cool. Sake. Uh, when I get to like a new city, yeah. just to kind of scope out what the scene is like nice did you guys do any craft beering when you're in michigan michigan is like such we a did. good place for we did we went to founders yeah founders oh in grand my rapids God, yeah. I was so <laughs> drunk at that yeah. place man yeah it's we crazy. halloween we we had a we had a session that's, that's the thing about craft beer though it's like you have visions of going there and being like oh yeah tasting all this <laughs> but, and, like 
four, four or five of them down, and you're literally just <laughs> yeah. you're like you might as well just be drinking Stella all night. Yeah, I know that is the thing. It's like it's painted as like yeah, yeah, sniffing like yeah. you're doing like really contemplative, but really you're just like laughing with your friends yeah. and just pouring down. I saw Conan O'Brien like tweet or something. It was like. Thank you, the craft beer industry, for making my drinking problem seem like a cool hobby. Yes, <laughs> yes. That's pretty, pretty accurate. Pretty accurate. Yeah, That's absolutely. So any successful, like, really successful thrifts? Um, yeah, it's funny because in England, thrift stores, they're charity shops is what they're called. It's, it's never anything good, you know, and I would hear about my friends going and finding these crazy band t-shirts or, like, uh, kind of like streetwear things, like, sure. kinda, like polo or, like, old, like, uh, 90s streetwear, like, brands and... So when I first came to the States, I moved here like four years ago, I would go with my friends on their runs in like Pennsylvania, like around Philadelphia, New Jersey, and they would like, we'd make like a little plan of where we were gonna go. And uh, I would start like kind of having an understanding of what to look for and things that maybe I want to resell or maybe things I wanted to keep. But um, I thrifted this polo jacket that is like the creme de la creme of what people look for. Like Raekwon uh, made it famous. I think he wore it in like the 90s and uh, it's called the Snow Beach Jacket, but I thrifted that for $1 in like, it has just like a bin of just like sheets and just like, it was just like, pull out whatever you want, you know yeah, what I mean, and $1. It's a dollar. And as I pulled it out, I was like, we used to joke, like saying that like, me and my friend Raikau, we were like, oh, today's the day we'll find a snow beach jacket, you know, cause that's like the piece everyone wants to wear. Yeah, yeah. And I start pulling it out and it's like, it's bold primary colors, like yellow, red, and blue. I'm like, snow, I'm like, wait, what? And I'm like looking at it and my friend's like, what is that? I'm like, I just ran over, paid my $1 so I could like buy it. And I was like, I couldn't really believe it. I took pictures of it, sent it to my friends. They were like, no way, there's no way. And it was, it was a snow beach jacket Whoa. and they, you can sell them for like $3,000. Oh so, man. But because I <laughs> went thrifting with my friend Raikel, <laughs> he would always take me like around, like drive around, we'd get a cheesesteak, like, we'd hang out on our Saturdays, it'd be awesome. I knew that he would wear it. I knew that he would never ever sell it. So I actually, I sold it to him in like with a trade for like, less money than it was worth but with some like he chucked in some jackets and some shoes and some other stuff and so we made the trip because everyone was calling me up like yo man like how much do you want for that jacket like all these different people who like go thrifting and stuff but uh we, I think it's like a treasure hunt. I just love like I'm just like sifting through like yeah. looking for like shirts. I don't shirts. ever find anything. Yeah. But the thing is, we reap the benefits when he goes because he'll usually come back with at least one we'll present go, for we'll someone. We'll go to the same yeah. shop. Yeah, yeah exactly. Because like I don't have the patience I for him. Like, uh, yeah, I went with Duncan. Bored. I took Duncan. I could see him just being like, I don't want to be here, and I'm like going through every. <laughs> yeah, every single one. I was just kind of like bat and jacket. Like, That's <laughs> all right. That is the thing. You do have to. You really do have to really look. And sometimes I get like I'm just like. Too much stuff here, or I, I'm just kind of over it after a yeah. while. I'm like, there's nothing. You feel like, kind of make a judgment call. Like, there's, I've seen already like maybe a hundred T-shirts. There's nothing here. So, but yeah, that's why I'm always like, when as soon as I wake up, I'll just type in like thrift store and see if I can find something. But it takes a lot of work because like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It sounds like it. <laughs>